What's going on, Ninbuzz community? Welcome back for another episode of Community Choice. As always, I'm your host, Red Falcon Games. And last week, I asked you guys what your favorite starter from Pokemon X and Y was. And this week, I'm going to be revealing the answers. So, let's get started here. In third place was Froki with 29% of the votes. As you can see, Froki is a water type and it is a frog. It's pretty cool looking. I have no idea what that white stuff is around. It's it maybe some old man facial hair or something. I don't really know, but um, I guess we're just going to have to find out. And that's pretty much with all of these starters. We know pretty much next to nothing about them except their types. And we're just going to have to learn about them once the game releases or when they release further information on it. In second place is my favorite Chespin with 34%. I don't know why. Chespin just looks really cool. He looks kind of like a cool like mole thing or like an otter. He kind of reminds me of Dua. And I really like Dua. They're just so... Really, they're really cool looking. I like uh, their style, and it looks like they might have some pretty cool moves. Like in the the trailer, you might have saw, uh, seen him use uh, like a slash move that some people might think is Night Slash. Stuff like that are um, are really cool about a chest pin. I just like the way he looks. I don't, I can't predict what his final form is gonna look like, but um, as you, as obviously with all of these, but I really like chest pin, and that got two, or not two percent, it got second place. In first place is Fennekin with 37% of the votes. This seems to be the Pokemon that people really like. I'm surprised it only won by 3%. But um, it's just, it's a Firefox. Not to make a reference to the internet browser, but it's a fox. And it's it's fire type. It's really, really beautiful looking. It's it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of feminine a bit. It looks kind of weak. But it also looks really like beautiful, you know. Like, it reminds me of Vulpix. That's what I'm hearing, and that's what I. It reminds me of. It reminds me of a Vulpix. Really cool looking, and um, that's the fire type. Fire types are usually the most fun to use. They're very, usually attack heavy and uh, very strong to use in your team. So there are the results for your Pokemon X and Y starters. Next week's question is going to be: What is your favorite Sonic game? And uh, now you may be thinking, oh, Sonic's not a first-party Nintendo. Well, it used to not be. Now it kind of is. So, I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. I know it's not first-party, but what is your favorite Sonic game? I'm going to actually say real quick that you cannot vote for Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. You cannot vote for any of those because I know that um, a lot of people like those games. And uh, it's not really technically a Sonic game because it's a sub-Sonic game in the series. And um, I know there's going to be people that don't watch this point in the video that are going to vote anyway, but they won't be counted for the results video, so just keep that in mind. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Community Choice. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. That would be great. And if you like me and you haven't already, go ahead and click the link in the description to get to my personal Let's Play channel there. There is an ongoing Let's Play of Pokemon Heart Gold going on right now on my channel if you want to check that out. I'd really appreciate that. But other than that, just don't forget to comment below what your favorite Sonic game is. And I will see you guys next week. Have an awesome week, everyone.